Yeah, just a word on Blind Al. <sighs> Got an awful lot of praise afterwards, justifiably so. The kick from the touchline was absolutely key. It moves it to a four-point game, and it's a wonderful kick. That moment where he gathers the ball off an overthrown line out, puts his body on the line, um, it was a proper kind of clutch performance. And yet, just before that, and every time I've seen him probably since he came back from injury in, I think it was January, late January, early February, uh, I still don't know if he's taking the ball to the line as much. And like it might take a while before he has that kind of full trust in his body given the nature of the neck injury that had kept him out for eight months before that um could those moments particularly the one where he gathers the ball at the back of the lineup just be that uh that little thing to kick him back on into the form that won him monsters player of the year only two years ago yeah i think it's massive i think that then the kick could be huge for him as well and uh, you know, i agree with ryan i think it'd be very it'd be very helpful to him to know as soon as possible if he's going to be starting at 10. Um, you know, he's played a little bit at 12 this season. I don't think him at 12 is the uh, and Joey at 10 is the way forward to to beat Saracens, even though Brad Barrett looks like he's injured. Um, but uh, I think looking back at that game in the Viva two years ago, um, I mean, both teams were slaves to their game plan. Yeah. It was lit, like, but the reality, what the problem was for Munster is that Saracens got ahead. No, not far ahead um, till, till late in the game. But Munster, even when they were chasing the game, still continued to to box kick, you know, into the Saracens twenty two, and it, it was meat and drink to uh, to Saracens. But having said that, if Munster can get ahead, you know, even by three points early in the game, that might force Saracens to to open up a little bit, and um, and they could be vulnerable to that. But I I don't see Munster even with with Carberry there being able to, you know, uh, run a muck um, ball in hand. But it's going to come down to it's going to come down to a pack. You know, getting on top, discipline, playing the right areas, and uh, I think that's actually been a big feature of Tyler. Is that he's probably learnt a lot about Northern Hemisphere rugby over the last uh, three or four years. Munster being incredibly loyal to him, and I think even the period where he was out, he his game management is far ahead of where it was. I mean, when he came, he was like a Joy Carberry type ten. You know, this um, brilliant attacking ten. Um, and in fairness to Axel, uh, Axel. You know, Axel saw that he was a man to change the way um, Munster could play. At the moment, I think he's actually it's his game management that's actually better than his you know natural flair. But as you said, maybe it's that turning point of having um, had a big moment or two big moments in a in a key game, giving that confidence back from obviously what's been a horrendous time and injury, and maybe he can go and, and do both. But I think the big thing is that his game management has improved a lot, and that's going to be key against against Saracens. 